Hey guys, D-Mike here, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Last time, like many children do, we solved a baby's puzzle. We put the ball in the hole. And today, our reward is the Tower of the D-Mike. I mean, the gods. Easy mistake. If you like exploring gigantic underwater structures dedicated to deities, like this video, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, we're gonna be cruising. Oh yeah. For some reason the game will let you get fast up until here. But once we get inside, it's cruise city. Actually, it stops right there. That is the last speedy quick. So here we are. For some reason it doesn't denote that this is the Tower of the Gods until you get into this spot, specifically. And then that's it. There's just no conversation. There is no... Link, this is where you do the stuff and the things. With the boat, nothing. But first thing, which this is one of the annoying gimmicks of this dungeon, is it's timed, at least on the outside. I guess we can talk to the boat and see what he has to say. Beyond this place, you must do battle with the power. Well, sorry, I should read it in his voice. Blah, 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 blah. Borrow the power. What do you mean, borrow the power? They're borrowing my power. So, this is an optional first item. You don't need to get this. But this is one of the things where you're going to be happy you finally got your bombs. And a boop. You got to watch out over here, annoyingly. These are, whoop, these are yellow chews. But there is no yellow chew in the game in terms of collectible. There's no pea jelly, thankfully. Ugh. So you don't get anything for that. Just get a red, red jelly. But here's an optional first item. You don't actually need to do this at all. But if you want it, and you want to look at the Wii, pad game, the Wii U gamepad, which, I mean, what's a gamepad? Why would you even use such a silly device when you can have a pro controller? Wow, I sound like a robot. A pro controller. All right, so let's go ahead and get in the boat. And the real dungeon begins over here. That's right, viewers. Time to get our hands wet, dirty, busy. Hopefully not run out of air while we wait for this. This is exciting. I'm, ex I'm happy about this, that this is how they decided to make this happen. And it's just time dependent, that's it. All right, so here's the gimmick. A little bit right now, a lot of bit later. So we're gonna pick up this statue but that's not the best way to move a statue is it maybe not so going forward we're gonna have to find another way we'll grab that you can only stun these boys with the boomerang can't kill them but it is nice because they're all electrified and we don't want to have to deal with that all right so here we go we got a little bit of a poozle this is a lot of fun. Wee! Break my legs! Alright, so... I don't know if this does it. Is this enough? Oh! Look, everybody! It's the bridge to Arceus! Oh, okay. Does anybody remember that? So this, of course, is, all, is very much temporary, but... When Diamond and Pearl came out ages ago, or even the remake, if you're into that kind of horribly made game, there was, of course, so all kinds of bosses that you could get into, like the legendary Pokemons. It was really funny when uh, you couldn't get Arceus at all. It was just impossible. I think it still is impossible unless you've played through all of the Legends Arceus game. They 
there were pictures online of people that had hacked it. Hackers. Insert person furiously typing on keyboard image. All those hackers out there who could get the Azure flute. I think that was the item you needed. And getting that would let you go to the part of the spear pillar where Arceus was. Kind of look like that. Uh, like a glowing staircase. Okay, so now that we have successfully managed to do the weird chess piece in its home, this episode is all about cruising and shapes and going home. All right, so we need to go. Where's that? Base. I think it's. Oops. Do a little, little shifty. All right, we can go down this hallway. And because we have to wait, this is fun, viewers. I'm telling you, quality content. Oops, I should probably get out of the boat. The last thing I want to do is be joking around, you know, Josh and fooling, teasing when I got work to do. We gotta finish as much of the Tower of the d mics as we can today. I wouldn't want to disappoint. This entire dungeon is, uh... It's okay. I, mean, I don't hate it. It's very time-consuming, though. I think that that's one of my biggest pet peeves is how annoying this can be. All right, so we need to make a straight line of these boxes. And we've done it. So we'll just wait for this to happen. We need to bring some fire to the new world. We're going to do a little bit of hop across, which is not a thing, and I just made that up. Please hurry. Oh, boy. Okay, so we didn't do it. Clearly. This is one of the downsides of Let's Playing, is that I got a little bit too goofy. So we're going to have to do that a little bit more quick, faster. All right. Let's try that again. I think I lost all the sticks in the catastrophe. So I'm actually just going to wait this out. And we'll have a little bit of a chat while we are waiting. This is probably... I would consider this that this is when the game is in like the intermediate phase. You know, like you've done the... Even Link's getting bored. He's like, your story sucks. This is when you get to the intermediate phase of the game. You've already done the three basic dungeons that you get for getting the pearls. And once you accomplish that, this is your reward. Is a very time-centric dungeon, but... We're going to get some pretty cool, also really annoying stuff that the game will require us to use forever. Alright, so we got some shoes in here. You can kind of ignore them and just swim around. I think, hold on, can I get up here? Thank you. Please. Get there. I just want to be done. All right, great. So we are going to leave from whence we came. All right. So this is why I recommended that you get your bombs. You have a lot of them. I didn't mean to do that. I just want to go cruising. I just want to go cruising. Put it away. You can't go cruising when your sail's out. So put your sail away. We're in public. All right? You'll notice over here. Over here. Now that we have our bomb cannon, and we can man our battle stations, we can blow these walls up. These walls kind of look like the pizzas that come with a Lunchable. Alright, so now that we've done that, we can hop over the wall. 
and explore this part. So the boat cannot come with us, of course. But we do have our... Oh, okay. Okay. Those guys, hey, like my Mario video, they unalived themselves, so... Alright. You can't use any of your items and weapons while, while wet. Which is great. Yeah, this is one of the, this is definitely a really annoying dungeon. I can't imagine what it's like when you're trying to go fast. We have our small key and we're gonna use that. We got friends here. I don't know if I need. Oops, I don't know if I need red chew jelly at any point, but you know, and we have to do this, by the way. This is kill them all kind of rune. So we'll do that. If I need red chew jelly, I'm probably just gonna be screwed because I don't care about this. I just want to be done. There we go. And oh come on. There we go. Viewers, come on. Respect. Okay, this looks more like the thing to Arceus. I guess the other one doesn't really count. Also, I guess yellow chews can just give you whatever jelly i'm assuming they're not gonna give you blue jelly because that would be way too generous so now that we've got our glowing breadstick here we can leave i believe the area that we want to put it is right up here very cool drop it on in that wasn't even close the game was like all right i'll cut you some slack dummy <laughs> that was funny. He's like, he just had a really rough night. Maybe some food poisoning. He's like, oh, the cure to my food poisoning is puzzle pieces. Ooh. I don't remember what these are called. I want to say that these are the thing stuff first. Ooh, what are these called? These are like anti fairies, maybe? I really should know that. Is this what I think it is? Viewers, wait. This is so exciting. Just kidding, it's the com it's the compass. Also, I think that thing might be called a, maybe it's a bubble. I don't, I don't know. Viewers, I don't know. We're doing our best over here. But if you did notice, if your eyes were peeled, lack of banana. Go ahead and get this fired up. And I'm just shocked that it took me this long to realize that you can climb onto stuff while holding the stick. I didn't know that. I mean, you can do a lot of things while holding your stick, but not in public and preferably not around law enforcement or people you're into, or maybe do it specifically around people you're into. All right, let me go ahead and eliminate you from existence. See you, bye. Hooray! I don't know how many we have. I think we have enough to make Teach happy, but that's probably something we accomplished eons ago. So I believe we hopped on, hopped on Pop over here. You raise me up so I can go into the mouth of this gross giant barfing statue. Okay. So that's this way. That guy's still having a rough go. And I don't think that this is a place that boat goes with us. So we will depart. And ooh, I'm so excited for what's coming up, viewers. You're going to get to hear one of the best things in the game. And by best, I mean I could do without it. Oh, would you look at that? It's a Beemos. All right. So let's see if we can get the, uh, got our boomerang out here. I would like to be able to kill the rats. That is not what I aimed at. What are you doing? 
Can I kill you all the way up there? That'd be awesome. Oh, the Beemos is distracting the boomerang. Oh, I got it all the way up there. That was pretty epic. I do want to kill the rats, though. Yeah, that's that's really annoying. You got to make sure that the Beemos is not what your boomerang's locking onto. Where's the other one? There you are, you little tramp. Ah. Uh. Oh, it's going up the wall and over, I see. You dead now, boy? Now you're going nowhere because you're dead. All right, so the rats are dead. We have done so. Now we need to, if you saw, there's three little glowies across the room and we need to get there before this boy gets grumpy with us and sets our cheeks on fire like that. You gotta be fast, like Sanic. All right, so. Boop, that's one. And we will roll. You can't do this when you have the statue, of course. So we are a bit limited. I'm gonna let it go all the way around. Okay, very cool. I didn't mean to stand on it. All right, so that does activate the Mario 64 Bob on Battlefield platforms. Anybody need a lift? No, I'm more into Uber. All right, that was a real, that was real bad. I have brand solidarity with my ride sharing services. All right, you know who, who I'm loyal to viewers? The cheapest. All right, so this is kind of our hub, I think. We are going to need to navigate a bunch of, a bunch more statues in here eventually, I think. But first, destroying property, heck yeah. We're such a BA. We're so cool. I would love to know what they use to make that sound. I want to say it's probably one of those... I've seen it before, like, I, I used to play the old bing bong drums. And from time to time, you'll have like a competition or like a performance where you'll have to use like one of the weird things. Like we had an instrument called a brake drum, which was literally just an old brake. Like the metal part without the brake pad. And you would hit it and it would go boom. So maybe it's one of those. Boop, gotcha. See ya. Yeah. What a buster. All right, so we're gonna go right on through. Looks like we've got a platform already made for us. Pretty cool. So what are we gonna have to do here, viewers? What is this? Seeker of the Goddess Guidepost. Press ZR to call me and guide me to my place of truth. Oh, wow. Is this what my YouTube research is all about? Oh, I love this. Come on! I say that to my cat actually all the time. Look how goofy it is. It's like, hey. Hey, um. This is going to be kind of like weird and stuff, but um, do you want to like hang out sometime? Do you want to exchange, exchange Snapchats and like talk sometime? We can use dog filters on our faces. No, I don't have social media. And I definitely don't produce content on YouTube for fun. Let's go. I'm recording an episode. You knew this. All right, so... I probably need to throw him. If I had it, I don't know what it is. Identify yourself. All right, can I pick you up and throw you? I'm trying to do this carefully because I don't have to redo it. And whoop. Okay, very well done. So it would have probably made sense if I would have done the running throw. I guess I don't have to do it that way either. I could have just... Oh, I guess you can't do it that way. Oh, I see. 
the game's like, mm-mm. Come on! Come on! I'm never gonna get tired of that. Whenever I want my cat to get up on my bed, that's what I say to her. I'm like, come on! And she's like, I guess. I guess I'll go in the comfiest place in your entire house. Ugh. Can't believe you want me to do that. Maybe I can jump. Maybe jumping across the gap would make more sense than trying to throw him. And whoop, there we go. That was just a tutorial, a taste, viewers, of what's to come. We're going to be doing a whole lot of moving and grooving and statue putting up and down. and I know that. And it just kind of autonomously goes on its own. So who's ready for this, viewers? Bum 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 creepy statue. Oh, we took all of his energies. Oh viewers, does that look like another Wind Waker song? You bet your buns it does. Oh yeah. Check it out. Another song. Actually I didn't even read what it said. I should probably look because I forget what it is. It is left, nothing, right, nothing. Gotcha. Okay. This, my friends. Oop. Oh, you have to hold it now. Oh, that's great. This is the command melody. So if you didn't love the idea of that, well that's too bad because this becomes a huge part of the rest of this dungeon. And it becomes an element that we will need to be mindful of in the future. Because the game was like, you know what? Controlling things with musical instruments, aka hypnosis, aka super radical is something that everybody wants to do and we're going to make them do it for a while so all right so let's go ahead and get our boomerang out go ahead and kill the bubbles if you can i think i missed that one can i kill you with this i don't think so all right how about with the hook shot or the grappling hook nope these things are very annoying though if you can lure it to you highly recommended Trying to go through some gaps with these boys all up in your business. Real annoying. All right. So, let me see. We do need our grappling hook, though. That is... Oop. I don't know how, how he's going to make it from that direction. But yeah, you got to watch out. These boys are all, all up in your doodly-doo. We're going to ignore them for now, though. We have a new friend. Don't forget. You're going to get used to this, whether you like it or not. Oh, yeah. There's Oh, wait, wait a second. There's nothing that you can control. I thought I could already do this. Maybe I... Am I not supposed to be here yet? I, was I supposed to step on something? Viewers, did I goof? Hold on a second. <laughs> it would help if I used my eyeballs. Oops. When in doubt, basically just look up. The game is begging you to not be as stupid as me. They're like, come on, dude. So you're going to want to stay on this Switch, this Nintendo Switch. Use our hypno hypnosis powers. What do you mean? Hold on a second. I'm confused. Is there a statue over here that I can use? Alright, I'm doing this very unintuitively. I always forget that you have to... To do it the way that the game wants you to. I'm like, I'm gonna do it my way. All right, so we have our 
Excuse me, hello. We have our friend here. Now we can do this. Now we can use the command melody. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm very excited, viewers. Just let me look. All right, so this is the fun that we get to do in this dungeon. This is just the tutorial version of this. How does that sound, viewers? Isn't that great? Also, the face Link makes when he does that. He looks very disgusted. Oops. I forgot. We gotta be a swing thing. All right, here we go. The game is like, nope. You are not going along my celestial walkway. I gotta do it again. Game, you're such a butt. That is hooping crap. Let's see if it'll let me do it from here so I don't have to walk all the way over there. Hang out with the creepy statue. He's like, don't say that. I'm beautiful. I do like that they do turn green though. Hold on, let's see what he looks like when he's like this way. He's like, ah, I guess I can help out. I'm covered in Mountain Dew. I'm the green apple statue. All right, so we will do things according to the order of operations because the game is so insistent. Let's not screw this up multiple times, more than once. Can't do that. Shame on me. And boop, there we go. Yeah, this is not complicated. If you are, if you have an ounce, an ounce of common sense, which I absolutely do not. All right, so now we can put this boy down. Now that we have done such a thing, I would like this guy to come over here. Excuse me? Is this the boat? Link! Some areas of which you'll not- thank- well, that's fine, I don't need you. Okay. I think that was like a very passive-aggressive way of saying, Link! I'm really freaking bored out here! Yeah, I'm gonna try to- all right, we'll get rid of you. Eyes on fire. All right. I would like you to please. Thank you. There's only the one real way to go, so we will do that. We're going to head to the southeast. Oh. Viewers, are you ready? Yeah, this is a dark nut. Time to get our nut. So this is meant to be a pretty intimidating fight, it is not. I'm gonna do it poorly, but it is not intimidating. Get your sword out. If you've done the orca fight, like some of us have, come on today. Where, uh, the orca fight where you have done 999 hits. This will be easy peasy for you. But anyway. The goal is to try to knock off, oops, knock off its armor. Doing the jump slash is a pretty good way to do it. If it'll let you. Let's be a little bit more patient. Let's make this a fair fight. I don't know if there's like a dog under there. This is basically what I did with the Orca fight. Anytime that you do the parry, it kind of resets them. I mean, in this case, it doesn't, but yeah. Oops. Just a lot of parrying. I don't know if there's another way to do this besides that. We try to punch me. Did you see that? No more armor for you, you're naked. You're fighting when you're naked. If you're gonna fight, it's probably not the best to fight when you're naked. And maybe it isn't a bad tactic to fight when you're naked though. Like, if I saw somebody that was out in the street with the, they're naked with a sword, that's the last person that I'm going after. Especially if they're all, you know, swinging around, hanging brain as we say in the business. You don't have to deal with that. But we're about to get the best weapon in the game so far. But first, treasure. 
Ooh, nice. For killing that dog, we get money and bombs. We are Michael Vick. Okay, here we go. Don't do that. Oh, yeah. It's the bow. Heck, yes. Viewers, we have done it. Hold the button to knock an arrow and release the button to shoot. I'm an American, so I love shooting things. You can carry up to 30 arrows for now. But that's where we're going to leave off. That's a pretty good chunk of this dungeon done. And next time, we're going to explore some more. So thanks for watching. Keep watching the YouTube shorts. If you enjoyed this video, you could like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more. Bye.